Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is Dylan. I'm the owner and editor of BreakingBolts.com. Go and check out my website. I cover everything off-road. Rock crawling, Jeeps, Toyota, anything you might like, you'll probably find it on the website. So, we're gonna check out this Moto-Built rear stretch kit right here. All right, so the things that come in the box is the actual bumper slash cross member because this does replace your rear cross member on the YJ. You're gonna have these shackle mounts here, and then you're gonna have these tube inserts here. What doesn't come in the box are these bolts and a poly bushing for the hanger. Now that's a big bummer. It does stay on the website that the bushing does not come with the kit. I might be wrong, but on the website it does not say these bolts are not included, so you're gonna have to go pick some up. Now the bolts that should have came with the kit are half inch by five. You can go to Tractor Supply and they sell them by the pound. I spent $20 on the bolts, on the nuts, the lock washers and the washers. And you're gonna need six total, three for each hanger. The bumper is made out of a 3 16th material, nice and heavy duty. It's a much thicker material than your stock cross member that was back here. Here's the stock cross member that used to be here. This cross member gets cut out. There's body mounts that go right here as well. Don't worry about it. You can cut those out. You don't need the body mounts back here. It's not required. You're not gonna have any problems with it. There's a lot of people who run this kit with no body bolts back here. It's never an issue. The material on the cross member is an eighth, is an eighth inch on the stock cross member. So it's safe to say you're getting a really big upgrade when you go to this bumper. Now the clevis mounts are three quarters of an inch and they're welded from the factory from Motobuilt, which is very nice in case you don't have a welder that can handle a thicker material like this. The hangers on the bumper here, the ones that put the hangers on the back of the bumper are also welded from Motobuilt factory. So the tube that goes here and then the actual hanger on the bumper is welded from the factory. When you get it in the box, you don't have to mess with any of that. The other thing that comes with the bumper are these side frame plates. So on each side of the frame plate, there's a gusset, and it's gonna cover up some of the, like a quarter inch of the end of this bumper slash cross member, and then it goes out about uh, four to five inches onto the frame, so you have a lot of material to weld to. So that's also a big upgrade over stock. Now this Motobuilt rear stretch kit is only for the YJ, it can be used on other vehicles with a lot of modification, obviously, but it's specifically de designed for the YJ. And this is gonna give you a rear stretch of about seven inches with the use of stock XJ Cherokee leaf springs. So you can go to your local junkyard and grab these Cherokee leaf springs, that's what I did. Amazon sells the stock factory Cherokee leaf springs for $100 a piece, and they come with the bushings already. I like to pinch pennies. So I went to a junkyard and saved a hundred bucks. I got a set for a hundred bucks for the driver and passenger side. Now these stock Cherokee springs are pretty light. And when I say light, I mean they flex, they flex quite easily. So don't expect to run a lot of, uh, like put a lot of things in, into the Jeep, into the back of the Jeep. They're probably not good if you're an overlander. The, they're probably gonna work out great for you if you're gonna be rock crawling with it or just light street use. My rig isn't gonna be used on the street, maybe just to go to the grocery market there and back, but that's it. Otherwise, it goes on a trailer and it goes right out to the off-road park so we can go rock crawling. Now, I decided when I did this kit, I wanna keep my ride height extremely low. And I was scared that if I if I maintained leaf springs on the rear, I wouldn't be able to get the ride height low enough for my taste. Um, I'm running a YJ with 40s and a GM 12 volt right now. So I chose to go spring under, and it is safe to say on stock XJ Cherokee springs, you won't have any problems with being too high. You're actually gonna sit under stock ride height on a YJ if you run this rear cross member, this rear stretch kit, stock XJ springs, and you're gonna have to cut your fender out like a comp cut just to run that setup. Now the installation was very simple. Once you have the rear cross member cut out and you grind the ends of the frame down, I recommend using a Sawzall 
to get the bulk of the material off, then use a cutoff wheel to get the thin material that's still attached to the frame. And then everything else, use a 36 grit flap disc, clean it all up, clean the sides of the frame up, and then you can, this bumper's light enough to where you can put it in your knees, lift it up to the right spot, and just tack it in place on both sides. If, if you're scared to do this kit because of the welding and the fabrication required, that should not be a limiting factor for you when choosing this. And what I mean by that is, this entire rear cross member and stretch kit took under an hour, for me at least. For you, if you're new to this, expect two hours. If you don't have a welder, find a buddy, give him some beer, and ask him to weld for you. The welding only took about 15, 20 minutes total for passenger and driver's side together. So once this cross member is tacked up on both of the sides of the frame here, you're gonna put the side gussets on, tack those in place as well, and then you can go ahead and finish weld it all out. I did take my time a bit to reduce the chances of warping. So I, I did a couple lines over here and a couple lines over here and then flip back and forth. And I didn't have any issues with that setup. Once you have everything finished welded on the bumper, you can go ahead and go ahead and assemble your, your leaf spring hangers here. And there's three bolts on the hangers. The long side goes upright. So when you get this kit, you're probably gonna be wondering, should I use a short side? on the top here where the poly bushing goes or should I use the long side of the hanger? And the answer is you wanna use the long side of the hanger and you want it in like a, a, v, a V shape like this pointing towards the front of the vehicle. You can use the tube insert here. You can see the steel tube insert. Put a bolt into there and loosely tighten the bolt. And then you can insert the rest of the bolts and add your, your leaf spring to the end here. So the question is, would I recommend this rear stretch kit to my neighbor or my friend or a family member who's looking to maybe replace an axle, upgrade an axle, or just get some additional length on the Jeep for stability reasons? The answer to that question is yes. Um, and I, I say that a little bit reluctantly. Uh, the reason being is I think Motobuilt could include the poly bushing that goes at the top of the hanger here. It's a $17 part on their website, and this kit is well over $300. Um, I think they could include that bushing for no extra charge um, and still have a profitable product here and make the user experience a lot better. I received this rear stretch kit, and I did not order the poly bushing with it. So now I spent um, $50 on one day shipping uh, for that poly bushing to get here. The next thing is the bolts. A lot of times on these fabrication parts, builder parts, bolts are not included with them. Um, I did not see anywhere on the instructions what bolt is required, the length of the bolt or the thickness of the bolt. And again, the bolt that is needed is a one half inch grade eight by five. I, I don't expect Motobuilt to include bolts with this system, but I would almost expect it to at least be in the instructions. Now, the instructions were rudimentary at best. Uh, I think they could spend a lot more time breaking down the steps of installation on this much better. Uh, that's, that's a big reason I didn't include a install with this video is because I, I almost had to figure it out. You, you can see some cool pictures on the instructions, but you're really just left to figure it out on your own. Uh, and luckily it's not a hard install. And finally, the shipping time was a bit long for this part. I did order um, a little bit before Black Friday and it doesn't seem that they had, either, had these in stock. I believe they were making these to order but that could have just been shipping delays and they did have these on the shelf ready to go. Uh, but the shipping time was very long, about 45 or 50 days from the time the order was placed. Overall, it's a great kit. It stretches you out seven inches. 
you can swap your axle to something different to get a wider track width and a longer wheelbase. Uh, very easy installation, quality parts. If you have any questions at all, you can comment down below. I will answer any questions you have. And then I'm going to write a installation post for this bumper, so check out BreakingBolts.com and you can see more there. The next video will be on the Motobuilt YJ behind the seat fuel cell. Stay tuned to that. Thank you guys.